Hello everybody, um, it's Tuesday the 24th of March and I'm recording this just after the government's announcement about what virtually amounts to a lockdown. I suppose they're not going to call it a lockdown but certainly uh, restricted travel and all the shops closed. I've just driven through Southport High Street, Lord Street and uh, it's completely, well just about deserted. There's one or two people wandering about on their own, fortunately no large crowds or anything. <clears throat> so it it really is the fact that I'm not going to be going anywhere for at least three months in, in the motorhome. So it's a bit like a winter layup for the motorhome if it's not going anywhere. So um, first thing I, I've been doing is draining the water down. There's no point leaving water in there. The water will go off, uh, get bacteria in it. What I will do obviously when we start up going again is I'll give it a good clean with some Purisol. I'm going to leave that obviously for a few months now. Uh, no point filming that. I'm just going to empty the water from the boiler as well. There's a little switch here and that will let the water out of the Aldi boiler as well. And it's just as well to open the taps put them in the middle position and let the water out. Same in the washroom. Yeah, do the same with the shower as well. Just put it in the centre position. Doesn't really matter. I mean normally if it was winter I would take this pipe off and just let that drain out. the hose out then but uh, obviously there's no danger of freezing now hopefully but I've got one or two little jobs to do around the motor uh, they are little jobs as well and quite honestly I'm going to be struggling for things to film about the motor so you might see one or two little boring little videos that I'm doing or you could have a look at the back catalogue I've got 650 video how I ever managed to do 650 videos I've no idea and um, I think what I'll do is I'll put a little clip in here showing you how to search through those videos. So if you're looking, for, if you're short of something to watch, there's definitely one or two videos you might want to watch there, and I'll show you how to find them. All right. So first thing is go to YouTube, obviously. All right. So on YouTube. And basically, if you want to find something out about my channel, um, first thing to type in the search box up the top here is my name. That way it sort of points um, to my channel. And as you can see, I'll, that's what I use when I'm searching for something. So if you wanted to find out something about me and the Ridge Monkey, and it will come up and it will look in the description uh, obviously mentioned it in there somewhere about the Ridge Monkey and other, other times as well. You know, pancakes in the van. So that's one way, very easy way, of finding out um, something about our channel. Um, Ridge Monkey recipes, toast and breakfast, or perhaps I might want to search for awnings. Um, yeah, there we are down, down there, setting up the, the drive away awning, trial run, buying it at Todd's, uh, using it in Durham Grange, and I've got a playlist uh, of awnings as well, so, um, which brings me to the next point. Playlists are very useful, so if you, if you have a look at my playlists, um, I've in this case, I've, everything I've done about awnings is in this playlist. So you could completely get freaked out watching a load of things about awnings if you really want to. Um, so if, you're, if you want to get to playlists directly and want to see what playlists I've got, what you do have to do is go to my channel. So if you find my channel, and you'll, you'll come in somewhere around here, just close that and you go to playlists you'll see on there I've got a whole list of 
playlists, a list of a playlist of playlists, and all, all sorts of things. I've tried to sort of group them in a logical way. So I've got things about awnings here, about the camping caravan. Uh, sorry, the caravan camping and motorhome show last year, the Scottish caravan castles, um, things about thirst motorhome. I've got under trips and tours, various places that we've been, and obviously you can browse through that. Uh, the shows that we've been to here, and have a look at all of those. And uh, it sort of gives you an idea of what sort of playlists I've got there. So you've got you know, trips and tours, and I think you can scroll down a bit further. It only shows you that if you click on created playlists, it will give you all the playlists, which is a bit scary. So you've got all the various things, castles, days out, things I've filmed at Todd's, helped, hints and tips, A-frame videos, shows and events, product reviews, more motorhome shows, Tredega Park, railways, things like that. I've put uh, a playlist of when we visited railways, a couple of videos about the new thing, about our old old van yeah so very easy way of finding what you're looking for or like I say just simply search for um, something in there you could just go actually just go rather than ensure um, what have I done recently um, somewhere I've been recently I just think Harrogate uh, not Harrogate um, York say yeah so if you want to find out something about Roundtree Park walk around York North York Moors day out in York that's what you do on a PC a bit more difficult to show you on the mobile but if you go into YouTube yeah if you go into YouTube and you hit the search icon at the top here little spyglass type thing you can do the same thing so if you go um i'll make sure york which is obviously what i've just searched for on the pc you get the same sort of uh, idea and uh halls yeah that's a good one halls so we give you every mention of halls in there um yeah so quite simple on the on the on the mobile and you can of course just do it on Google as well you just go to Google and uh, yeah so if you just go to Google on your mobile and you just type in there and you can actually say it actually Bob Earnshaw York oh try that again Bob Earnshaw Harrogate Or band show <laughs> or something like that anyway involves your uncle and try it again try again a song by Alia mm, okay Do hit it again Bob Earnshaw Peterborough oh god <laughs> Bob Earnshaw Peterborough There we are. Mentions of Peterborough. Yeah, so you've got 650 videos to choose from. Uh, no reason not to get your motorhome fix. So how I've left the, the van is we're, we're plugged in. We've got electricity uh, supply uh, plugged in. So I'm going to leave it on power. I'm going to leave the heating on low still. It's still quite cold at night. It was about four degrees last night. I've emptied the water out. And what we're going to do about these blinds. I think what I'll do is I'll leave them open. I think I'll draw the curtains. Saves wear and tear on the blinds themselves, or less tension on them. But obviously can't do anything about the front. I can't fit my own thermal cover because well, it keeps blowing off in the wind basically. The um, Velcro's gone. 
I need to order a, a new one. Uh, it's a tailor-made screen, so I might see if I can get hold of that whilst we're in layup and see if I can get a new one. But I'd recommend, if you possibly can, fitting a thermal cover and uh, it will give your blinds a rest. These are still obviously fairly new. Uh, same goes for that one up there. These are still fairly new. It's probably best not to leave them closed for three months which is what we're looking at at the moment I think. Uh, I've taken the bedding off but because I've got the heating on I'm not too worried about it getting too damp in here. And anyway the, the weather's warming up as well. Yeah so I'm going to switch the fridge off as well. The other thing you need to do is make sure you've got no food stuffs in the cupboards. I think we've got anything in there. No. Nothing in there. Oh. Just a bit of coffee. or anything going off. Yeah, so a little check. Pumps off, awning lights off, lighting is off, power is still on obviously, water is empty, fridge is off, sorry heating is off, heating is on at the moment. Um, I'm going to leave that on for a bit. It's still fairly cold at night. And I'll probably turn that off as we head into April, hopefully. Oh, and the other thing, of course, that needs emptying is the toilet, in case you hadn't already done it. Don't forget to do that. Yeah, so that's the van shut up, probably, hopefully, for no longer than three months. Uh, I probably will give it a, a little dry wash. I've got some dry wash shampoo uh, I can use. Give it a little dry wash. I don't really want to be getting it out in the road to wash it. So it's not too bad. So I'll give it a little wash. Yeah, so all the duvalet covers, um, covers for the sofas, the pillowcases and everything, I'm going to give those a good wash and put those away. And what I will do is I'll give it a really good clean in here. I'll get the carbis up and uh, do a bit of dusting and vacuuming and we'll get it nice and clean. If you don't want to attract any rodents or anything in the, in the van. I'll give it a good good clean inside. Yeah, that's so that's it for this little update. Um, I've got little jobs to do around the motorhome, but I certainly can't do any tour or anything like that. So if there's things you want to see that I can do, let us know um, and I'll do it. So that's it. Give us a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you soon.